This is the new Dragon Ball Super Masters Beyond Generations Collector's Box. Be ready to sell your soul as this box retails at a whopping 340 Australian dollars. The highlights of this set include three secret rares, each having an alternate art version, with the big chase being a holographic stamp Goku. Can we pull him? Let's find out. Good evening, Pallet. Tomorrow's the big day for the newest class of Pokemon students. I'd like to introduce you to Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Each one is available for new trainees. Which... <laughs> G'day you legends, welcome back to the channel, it's Virgo here. Hope you're having an amazing day. So wow, our collector's boosters finally came. I've been so excited for this. I've been anticipating this for a while now. I uh, pre-ordered these you know, a good while ago and they've just been released. So really excited to get into it. I think we'll just open this up and then um, we'll talk a little bit about the set. All right, thought it would just be easier if I just transitioned through it. Got one of those, like, you know, rip cardboard seam things. Quite annoying to do. But yeah, wow, I just gotta say, first of all, this looks absolutely amazing. 12 packs you get in this uh, collector's booster, you know, as opposed to 24 in your regular boosters. So they all come with their promo, okay? Um, in this case, the ones for the collector's box are actually um, double sided hollows, okay, the Awaken leader cards. Really cool, we got a Harutigan there. Very nice. So yeah, those ones will be double-sided holos. I think they're the only ones that you can get that are double-sided holo are from the from the collector's boosters. So look, let's just rip into it and then uh, we'll start talking a little bit about the set. Oh man, really, really nice artwork. This is the first time I've uh, got to open a collector's booster box. I, um, I do have the Power Absorb one, but I've kept that sealed um, inside uh, my, my cabinet at the moment and you'll be probably noticing man these look good you'll probably be noticing that these are all foil all holographic man that looks sick um, so yeah the collector's boosters get 12 cards per pack and each of them are actually foil so realistically it's kind of like getting your own um, god pack in each pack, whoa, that looks sick, dude. Yeah, man. Wow, 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 wow. Fantastic, I'm actually gonna put that one at the back. Nice art soul sleeve, I've got my sleeves there, I do. Whoa, what's this? SPR, straight off the bat. Wow, <laughs> that actually looks insane. So you can see here, hopefully guys, you can see like all the little foil lines going down. Uh, it's like the foil pattern for this set. Looks really nice. I don't think it really has... Oh, it's got a tiny bit of texture. I think the texture's on the character itself. But wow, that actually looks really, really nice. Wow. Kind of reminds me... I'll sleeve those up after. Um, reminds me of the old school scorecards. We got a power, so I know some of these are alternate arts. Um, I just got to remember, I think it's part after the special rare, so, or the super rare. Ming Turtles, I think that is. And then, whoa, very nice. We have our gold stamped, so it's gold and silver, stamped sparking Kamehameha. Wow, what a strong start. I hope you guys can see that, like down here. The gold and the silver. Whoa, dude, that is actually a sick looking card. Holy crap. Wow, that's probably one of the best cards in the set. Wow, that looks freaking amazing. Jesus. All right, let's get into our second booster. So yeah, this is Beyond Generations. This is the collector's box version. Um, the normal uh, booster box uh, should be out now as well. Um, I'm gonna try and get my hands on some of that as well, but I thought I'd try and really get uh, my hands on some collectors first and I was lucky enough I had to pre-order this <laughs> a while ago now but yeah if you don't know this is the seventh installment to the Zenkai series dude man the Awaken cards always look so freaking good Beerus whoa look at that Sun Goku I'm probably gonna say that a lot for a lot of these cards guys but Jesus Christ this is just 
This is epic. The, the collector's boosters are just so good, man. So good looking. What do we got here? So down here, SR. So we got our super rare. Turtles. We're on your destroyer from the outer space. Nice. Very nice looking. We have Vegeta face off with an Emperor. Now, I don't know when the alt arts start. They might start from here. We have SS4 Sun Goku. Oh, man. Fantastic. And then, boom, we hit our gold stamp at the back, which is our Kefla and Kale. Uh, sorry, our Kefla and Kale. Man, these look so good. I really am, I was a little bit hesitant at first about the foiling pattern, you know, the lines going down, but, you know, after seeing it in person, I actually think they're quite nice. I mean, I did, I did really like the old school score holo patterns, like if they weren't, the old school scorecards are like, you know, just a little bit of holo inside like a square, you know, but um, these were, were, you know, where the modern cards now are everything the whole cards you know basically hollow so that bit of a difference but oh nice freezer we hit ss2 vegeta nice that's our super rare yeah nice it looks great that's super rare at the back here we have a sun goten joining the party beautiful we have the the kale and kothla um, I think that's just the regular version. So before we actually got the gold and silver stamped, so you can see the difference there. It's miles and miles differently. All right. Oh yes, man! I was so keen on getting this as a gold stamp. This is you fool. The famous scene in Dragon Ball Z where Goku shares his power, the last remaining power, with Freezer. You know, Goku's luck. And Frieza, instead of using it to try and survive, tries and blasts Goku with one last blast. And Goku turns around, calls him the fool, gets rid of him. Through the tree. Nice, looks fantastic. Beerus. Got a Sensu Bean. SS3 Sun Goku. Yeah, there's our Awaken card. I wonder if you're guaranteed one of these. It looks like I think we've had one almost every pack. Fantastic. Trunks, joining the party. Janemba, nice Janemba art there. We have a Great Ape Sun Gohan, Menacing Transformation. We hit a SR. Beautiful SS4 Sun Goku and Vegeta. That's actually a really nice looking card. I think you can get those. I think you might be able to get them in the silver stamp. Um, yeah, look, there's our sparking Kamehameha. That's the normal version. Looks great still, but wow, guys. Like, literally compare it, though. Like, look at that. That's freaking insane. That blue actually makes it look fantastic. Super, super happy with this. Sun Gohan and our final. Ooh, that looks freaking sick, dude. SS4 for Vegeta, opening Gambit. Oh my god. Dudes, are you getting this, guys? Are you freaking getting this? Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Just bloody wow, man. Like, <laughs> this is freaking crazy, guys. Oh my god, I feel very blessed and lucky to open this. Now I do have three of these boxes, oh, two left now. Definitely keeping one sealed. The other one I am tossing up to between, you know, selling or holding on to as well, or, you know, maybe, maybe opening. I, um, I mean, they're very expensive. They've even like basically doubled in price now. That looks sick, Clash of the Strongest. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's always hard to say big commitment, but you know, I do love opening cards. I do love building up my collection. Boom. All right, Freezer. We have Vegeta opening Gambit. So we must have got, this would have been the um, alternate art, um, silver gold stamp foil. 
see a big difference. We have an SR, Great Ape Sun Gohan, Raging Power. We have the Sun Gohan, Great Ape, Rampaging, looks awesome. We have an uncommon SS4 Son Goku. The artworks on these are absolutely fantastic. And then boom, our gold silver stamp will be Trunks. If you can get different angles on it, I don't know if you guys are seeing that. But wow, in person these look freaking insane, dude. Fantastic. Really, really awesome. So you haven't even had a chance. This is oh wow, our last pack on the on the right side here. Crazy. Um, I haven't even had a chance to really talk about some of the cards in here. So I mean, you probably would have saw it in the intro, but yeah, it has you know like any other set, three secret rares um, that include you know Perunga, Vegito, and um, SS3 Son Goku, which is probably the one. The Goku is the one that I want the most. Um, probably like everybody else. The texture and everything looks amazing on that card. And I've seen, um, I think it was Goddess Rare pulled one the other day. Uh, very jealous, so it looks fantastic. Wow, that looks freaking sick too. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, but they have the alternate arts. Um, bit of controversy on some of those. Um, whoa, SR. Dude, sick. Wow. Freaking awesome, man. Um, yeah, a bit of controversy on some of those because of the way they've done this set with the texture and stuff. Um, people, you know, complaining a little bit about about that, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Can't really, <laughs> can't really do anything about it. Um, Powerball mimicking the moon. The turtles there. Awesome, that's a really cool pattern. I actually, I'm kind of digging this pattern, hey? Yeah, I don't know. Skeptical at first, but now it's 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 really growing on me. Um, but yeah, we have the alternate arts of those, and um, the big chase for the set. Um, in the first box, it was actually a ghost rare, and everybody was anticipating um, another ghost rare, maybe a Super Saiyan or a Freezer would have been really nice. But um, they went a different route, and they actually did a holographic stamped Goku. I'll put that up on screen again for you there. Um, I personally really like it actually guys, like I know there's a bit of controversy again over that, but I don't know, it's something different and I really do, I just like the style of it. Um, it's just something, yeah, unique. So I mean, it'll be bloody awesome if we can pull that. Uh, nice wake and tapey on there. <laughs> Beerus bro, look at that face. You love it, love to see it, eh? We hit a, another SR, taping on trunks. So I'm not sure if I said before, but yes, you are guaranteed at least a super rare or above. Okay, that slot there can be taken up by a special rare. Um, and then I believe um, Goddess Rare kind of debunked. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Man, go 10. Dude. Oh, wow, fantastic, honestly. Um, yeah, so Goddess Rare actually, I think, debunked the that if you do not have an SR or SPR in your lineup as you go through, then you're most likely going to get a Secret Rare, um, which is pretty sick, so you can kind of track it like that, I guess. But look, it is what it is. If you get lucky, you get lucky, hey? So um, let's hope we can get lucky. I would absolutely love the standard Secret Rare for... Goku out of the alt arts. I think I really like, I mean, the Purunga is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, having Dende on the secret rare looks fantastic. But um, I think the Fujito looks really nice. Got the two guys in the background, which is really cool. All right, we hit a, oh nice, we got another SPR. Awesome, we haven't really pulled too many of those. Beautiful freezer, overdrive activation. Yeah, nice. Really, really nice. Dude. All right, putting that back down. We have a Sun Goku. We have a Concentrated Saiyan power. Oh, that's awesome when they're all giving their power to Goku. Kind of gives you the perspective that you're Goku there. That's pretty sick, actually. 
And we have a Sun Gohan, important role. Nice. Freaking fantastic. I kind of wish I was sleeving them now as I was going. Bit lazy, hey? Bit stupid. Bit of a rookie mistake, I think. Then we have the Spark and Kamehameha. Sun uh, Goku. We have another Beerus there. Fantastic. Krillin. Yeah, sorry it's probably gone a little bit longer than normal, these these um, openings, but it is just a... It's a new set for one, it is the collector set, it's just very expensive and, you know, just awesome artwork and foiling and... Yeah, I mean, you can't really... <laughs> can't really go too quickly on these. We have an uncommon... Hit the Sun Gohan um, foiling. Oh, there's something behind this. Oh, guys, I think we might have something here. Guys, I think we might have something here. This is a rare gold stamp. There's something behind it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, what are you waiting for? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, baby. We hit. It's not the alternate art, but dude, we hit the secret rare. Purunga. Oh, man, that looks freaking sick, dude. Yeah, texture. Yeah, yeah, it's textured. He's little bloody pimple skin. Oh, my God. God, dude. That is sick, man. Holy crap. We actually pulled a secret rare. That is fantastic. Wow. Actually, I don't know. Does this look better than the old art? I think there's more texture going on in here. Hell yeah, guys. Freaking hell. I'm so happy. Oh, all right. I'm getting the sleeves. You convinced me. You convinced me. It's happening. All right, there we go. She's in the sleeve. Beautiful. Wow, secret rare achieved. Now, I don't know if you can get more than one. I, I honestly doubt it. Um, but yeah, wow, bloody hell. I'm gonna try and lean him back there like that. Secret rare hit, first box, box three. Thank you again to those people who helped me choose that box. I'm just gonna keep asking you all all the time now. It worked last time for, for the other set that I opened as well. Somebody chose a box and I, um, you guys chose the box and it had the secret rare. So, you know what, from now on, I think I'm just gonna leave it up to the community to, um, to choose them for me. We've got Broly. And, um, yeah, I just noticed too, actually, that pack that we did open then did not have a super rare or above. Um, super rare or special rare. So, there, there you go. What Goddess Rare was actually saying is true. Um, you, you, if you do not get one of those, it looks like you're getting a secret rare or better. Some Gohan, got the Vegeta, and then, oof, that is actually fantastic. Vegeta, face off with an Emperor. You can still see, like, the print lines that going across here, horizontally. A lot of people saying they did do this holo pattern to, I guess, try and hide those um those print lines that bandai are really well known for um but yeah look that aside i think i still think it looks quite nice um and yeah like even if they are trying to hide the print lines you can't hide them all as you can see uh, there's ones that go across the bulma harutigan you have the turtles awaken this time we hit a rare Gotenks. Ooh, no. Oh, dude, what the hell? Oh my god, dude, what the? That looks freaking sick. Turl's Wandering Destroyer from outer space. Whoa, bro. The colors on that are insane. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do, man. Like, this is insane, bro. Even that, like, just the bloody normal foils are insane. I might have to get... Oh my god, and we pulled one of the ones that I wanted. This is the SR, so you can get SR, maybe SPRs, alternate art gold foil stamp. So this is literally one of the ones that I wanted in the gold and silver stamp. I don't know how hard they are to actually to, to get. But far out, man. That looks freaking sick. I'm like peeking over the camera to see how good this actually looks. 
Wow, man. <laughs> All right, it's going to sleep. I'm, I'm a rookie today, guys. Bloody rookie. We're down to our last pack. Jesus Christ, that felt like it went quick. It's been going for bloody 20 minutes, but wow, to me that felt two seconds. Down to our last pack. Now, I think we've got our hit for the box, obviously. So, um, you know, I'm not expecting too much, but can we get maybe another special rare? Or can we even get another gold stamped super rare, gold silver stamped super rare at the back? Would love it. We got the Harutigan. I think that's the same as our box topper. It is actually. So you can see our box topper there. Foil on both sides. Whereas here, foil and then, yeah, you know, just not, no foil. So that is the difference with the box toppers there. Sun Goku, that would be really sick to get in gold stamp. SR Sun Goku, so no special rare for us. We hit the turtles. And our last card, guys, is going to be... Oh, never mind. Our second last card is going to be Sun Goten. And our final card, what have we got? Ooh, <laughs> did we just get another... Oh, no, that's a common, man. That almost looks like a super rare as well. That is another sick one to get. Holy moly, guys. Like... We're just hitting the bangers today. Like, we're just hitting the bangers. Wow. Honestly, just... <laughs> what a bloody opening. Like... <sighs> wow, <laughs> it kind of makes me want to open up more. Oh no, what have I done? Why did I open this, guys? Why did I open this? I'm going to get all these together. And then I will be sleeving them at the end. Don't you stress. Um, I think one of the things I forgot to mention too, and I don't actually think we pulled one, it was one of the special leader rares. I think it's one of the new the new types of cards, special leader rares. But yeah, hopefully uh, we can have another look at that at some point. So look, let's just a quick recap. And by quick recap, it's probably going to be pretty long, so there's so many bangers. We've got the Concentrated Saiyan Power. These are mostly going to be gold stamped or super rares, special rares. There's our super rare Goku, our special rare Turles. Looks freaking amazing. Gold Stamp Vegeta, Super Rare Vegito, Gold Stamp Gohan, we've got our Gold Stamp Gohan again, we've got our Super uh, Special Rare Freezer, Gold Stamp Turles, fantastic, we've got our Super Rare Go Tanks, Gold Stamp Trunks, Super Rare, Gold Stamp Go Ten, this is one of my favorites, really, really nice, SS4 Vegeta, Gold Stamped. We got our kale. We got definitely one of my favorites as well. I really want to get this one graded. Just the moment, guys. Just that moment. We end up getting a special rare Harutigan. Our SS2 Vegeta. This is just a super rare as well. Oh, I love this one. I'm definitely getting this graded. This is just bloody sick. This is actually probably one of my favorites in the opening. And it was our first. I think that was our first card we pulled too. Dude, insane. We end up uh, getting, I don't know why he's in there, so yep, that's, oh no, yeah, that's right, he was near the start too. I just really like the artwork, so yep, you'll stay in there. We end up pulling that super rare gold stamp, gold and silver stamp, bloody hell, that looks good. But guys, we did it, we ended up pulling one of the secret rares, not the old art, but look, I'll bloody take it. And yeah, that looks fantastic, this is actually the first dragon I've pulled out of the dragons they've released for the secret rares, so... You know what? I'll take it. Bloody fantastic. Wow. All right. So thank you very much again to those who helped vote, for those who have been sticking around to the end of the video. If you do enjoy this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. It really does help the channel. I really want to try and get to that 1,000 subscribers. We're just a bit over halfway now. Um, and yeah, there'll be a nice giveaway uh, for, for the 1,000 subs. So yeah, thanks for joining, guys. Uh, don't forget to comment below too. I really like talking to the community. And yeah, until then, guys, I'll... Whoo!